Nice work, Andrew. You really mastered the turkey, down to a science. That's three strikes in a row. Hee hee hee. I knew I would get three strikes in a row, eventually. I've done that before, in Grand Theft Auto 4. And I've been waiting for the opportunity to do that in real life. So that proves my theory. There are some video games out there that do help you prepare for the real world. Even if you are laying around in your underwear at 12 midnight eating Doritos and drinking Dr. Pepper. <laughs> Yep. That's gamer culture, for you. That's what we like to do. You'd be surprised, at how smart, us gamers can be. Ha 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 ha. My father always told me that video games will rot your brain. Only if you don't play responsibly. Because if you don't, there will be tremendous consequences. Thank God. I'm smart enough to know that. And right on cue. It's the Silver Deke logo. Hey Deke, would you like to play a couple of frames with us? We could always use another player, you know. Sorry, Janet. Can't bowl right now. I had to come and give you and Andrew some bad news. Some bad news? Ha ha. Oh. Deke. What did you do this time? It's not about me. It's about another dangerous person who gets himself into more mischief than I ever will. Well, you do have a reputation of causing a lot of mischief all around my anus. It's not about that. I mean, this dude is so mischievous that he decided to follow me here to the bowling alley. And just who is this little troublemaker? What's up, bitches? Ha 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 his parents, who live in Toontastic City, gave him up. And he's supposed to be, in Phoenix, Arizona, living all by himself. Not anymore. You see, a nice family, who lives here, in my anus, came to Phoenix, Arizona, on a vacation, to see a Jennifer Lopez concert, at the football stadium, where the Arizona Cardinals play. Jennifer Lopez? I love J-Lo! I should have gotten tickets to that concert. I wish you could have been there. It was an awesome concert. Anyway, the family from here in town saw me outside the stadium eating nothing but lizards and scorpions. They saw that my clothes were all torn to shreds and that I was homeless. So they decided to adopt me and bring me back here to my anus. I'm just glad that I have a family again and that I have a home again. But what about your real parents, LaDonna and Robin Spunky Gal? They disowned you, renounced you from the family, and gave you up, eight months ago, and sent you to Phoenix, Arizona. That's because, you were nothing but trouble. And I'm still pissed off at you, for putting cuss words, in all those kids' TV shows. Do the spunky gals know that you have been adopted by another family and you are now living here in my anus? Yes they do. They tried to take my new parents to court and make them give up custody of me. They also tried to get the court to force me to go back to Arizona and live as a homeless person because I'm a bad person 
and I have a criminal history. But, since the court systems are now run, by the deep state, and since, they are catering to fugitives of the law, favoring them, over good people, and trying to defund the police, they rule in favor, of my new parents. Damn deep state. Always letting, dangerous criminals loose, trying to get rid, of our police officers, and blaming it all, on us American taxpayers. And this is exactly why we need to elect conservative leaders. Because it's radical left weirdos like Nancy Pelosi and Joe Biden that defund the police, let dangerous criminals roam the streets, and allow unnecessary violence to happen to our cities and towns. And now that I'm back, and now that I'm loved by radical left liberals, and also, since my new father is a magician, I will now make the rest of your lives a living hell. Ha 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 ha. Well, there he goes. And just, when I was about to ask him, what it was like, living as a homeless person, in Phoenix, Arizona, for the past eight months. I'm sure he would love to tell us, but that would make this episode longer and really boring. I guess we'll find out sooner or later. I guess since the police won't do anything about that kid, since the radical left is defunding them, it'll be up to me to make sure that little punk doesn't go around starting trouble. Thank God we have a scary logo like you to protect us, even if you are a bit of a prankster. Now come on. Let's all enjoy a nice round of 10 pin bowling. I just want us to have a nice day and not worry about the world's problems. Don't worry, Dicky. Now that silly Billy is back in town. I will help you watch over him. He won't get away with his mischievous ways around me. Especially since his adopted parents are a couple of liberal Democrats and they let him get away with all the bad things he does. If he were adopted by conservative Christian parents, they would enact granny law, paint his back porch red, and make him go to church to ask God to forgive him. They would also sign him up for one of those scared straight programs. Or worse, military school, which is where he should be. And that's the end. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>